Wrestling! Wrestling! You said that weird. Yep. <laughs> if you feel the same way, you can go in the comments and let us know how weird you thought that sounded. Uh, and you can like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, I've got a Patreon. It's linked below. I've got books you could buy. They're linked below. My friend thinks they're very good. Mm -hmm. You can. He streams on Twitch. It's linked below. And we have a Discord. It's linked below. We talk about wrestling there when we can, but not a lot of people talk about wrestling there. Join up and talk about wrestling with us. <laughs> Part of me wants to like if you if you edited this have like a little tiny like Legend of Zelda link pop up below. <laughs> Just because no. we've said it so many times. <laughs> not, absolutely. You know not how you get that it. kind of effort? Is by paying me on Patreon. There we go. All right. So now let's do Journey of Wrestling. Yeah, Journey of Wrestling. Continue. <sighs> it has not been quite as long. No, no. It's not the traditional nine-week gap. However, as we were looking at some things... After the end of last episode, we found out something unfortunate. And I meant to check it before we sat down to record again to see if it had happened, like, in a place where we could see and we just didn't notice. Uh, we didn't check that, though, did no, we? No, I did not. But So it's possible we're dumb. It's possible you guys have already mentioned in the comments how stupid we are. But, uh, so the big issue here is that we were so excited to get Kurt Hennig. Because he's great, and he, then... He's part-time. Now, it's possible it said that somewhere and we just didn't notice because we're dumb and we were really excited for Mr. Perfect, but this is not a terrible thing. No. Because it means we, you, we get to do the most time-ordered wrestling tradition. We get to bring back a respected veteran for a limited run and have him uh, do nothing but lose to the person we're trying to shove down your throats so that you have to like them because we're upset at him for rowing part-time. We are Vince McMahon. <laughs> I don't even know if that's fully necessary. I, I've been thinking about it, and he could just be a nice filler match um, for pay-per-views, for seven-hole pay-per-views. We could do that, too. Yeah, um, but we, we'll, we'll let it roll as we ride. Um, let's see. Well, let's make sure everybody's doing shit. Uh, staff, view. Nobody's no, doing fucking no anything. No one's doing anything. Okay, let's, uh, let's view our roster. Is anyone unhappy? No. no. You know why? Because we're the greatest company in the world. Yes, sir. Uh, let's um, see here. We could see if someone... if Because isn't one of our people someone who prepares someone for call-ups since we... Since we missed uh, the opportunity and, and called up part-time Kurt Hennig, could we get like maybe our truth ready or somebody like that? Uh, let's see. Our call-up options are Draws, Ron Killings, Crash Holly, and Albert, and then some other guys. Yeah, guys who either aren't ready, like Mark Henry. I can't imagine Albert's got to get stats. No, like that, wow, so. that's actually kind of mean. Uh, not unfair, just me. I think he was a better wrestler. Crash than Holly that. should not have a one charisma. No, Crash Holly was fucking not. hilarious. Uh, Ron Killings, two two. Ron Killings. Is Ron Killings good. is fair. I'd say. I'd say if we're gonna call somebody Dan up, it's gonna be Ron. Two one. Yeah, I'd say. I'd say Ron Killings as well. Um, so uh, prepare for call up. There we go. All right. So Marilyn, Marilyn Carter Carter's is on. busy. So Who let's also look at the indies. Oh, yeah, that's right. A certain guy made himself uh, available on the indies. Did he get recruited already? I believe I believe you actually clicked the button to immediately recruit him. Yes. I think he got recruited by someone else. Oh, no. Oh, no, there he is. Well, then, yeah. Let's go ahead um, and hit, hit yeah. the scout or recruit. Yeah. Good. Hey, come here. Come here work for us, though. We'll pay you money. It's so, fine. So, another reason this has been a little easier on us is that I didn't have the Japanese feds running. Yeah, that'll be a thing. Um, For two reasons. One, we don't know a lot about New Japan and all the other Japanese feds. It's No, I know, I know what amounts to sugar packets. <laughs> two, I've played this game, not this scenario, but this game with Japanese feds running, and it's just an exercise in feeling bad. Because <laughs> it's just nine, their entire card is all six-star matches. Well, they all run Puro feds, so they can just do wrestling matches. Yeah, yeah. Well, most of them do. There's some that don't. Uh, uh, but yeah, okay, fair enough. Uh, also, it's different markets. Like, it is. We're not, the WWE is not competing with New Japan. I'm sorry, guys. That's not the... Pedro, what do you do? Nothing. Pedro does nothing. Pedro, I could have sworn we found something that Pedro did. No. Uh, what we could do is 
I mean, the only reason we want Pedro to do stuff is so that we can grind them up. We could just hire a better one. <laughs> I mean, that's true, but we've already fired and rehired Pedro once. I feel like, uh... <laughs> At this point, Pedro will need to give themselves a massage? Yeah, um... Huh, okay, I guess we're too good to bother. Um, all right. So, we mentioned that Thunder needed talent. I think we fixed that. Um, I think we have to go to the roster for that right now. Because of the split. Yeah. Uh, Thunder. We gave them a couple new people. Like, Kurt Hennig, and then a couple others. New folks, I think it was Lance Storm, was he new? Lance Storm, Jacqueline, yeah. Yeah, so we've got, they're, they're not quite over yet, but it's good talent that they can, that we can use going forward. Okay, so I don't think Thunder needs talent talent the way we did. Um, Canyon's still injured. We got Hiroshi Tanahashi. Uh, Ken Shamrock became part-time as well, um... I think we talked about that at the end of the last one. Yeah, so we're gonna drop. We're gonna end his feud, his current feud with John Tenta by having Tenta win the title, and then maybe fire Ken Shamrock because he's not Kurt Hennig. He's no. not worth. Yeah, he, he's been so hard to get over this whole fucking time because um, he's got bad charisma. I think there might be some other stuff too, but that's that's fine. Whatever. Um, uh, so let's take a look at our feuds since we're done with uh, yes. the bookkeeping. So these are our raw feuds. We've got Jushin Liger versus Matt Hardy, um, which is has enough for one more month. We've got the Aranese versus the Millennium Dragons, which is fucking fire. We and we could go that a couple months on that. Uh, Bradshaw and Farouk is ending this episode. Yes, um, we're they're... just gonna have them turn into a tag team. Mm -hmm. We're gonna make them the APA. Uh, Jericho Undertaker can go on for a while. Look at the math on that one. 1.625. Uh, the fans feel very specifically about how much more they'd like to see about this. And then we're ending that as well. We don't have a main event title. Feud. So, uh, last time we brainstormed a couple options for who Kurt Angle could feud with. The most popular, I think, was Eddie Guerrero. Mm hmm. So, let's kick that off. Let's have him win another big multi man match. Just like Kurt Angle and several others, and then he wins it. Um, I was just gonna say or, like a contendership or just a match. Bunch, uh, yeah. Oh, just a straight up contendership yeah. match. I like that. Yeah, let's okay. do that. Let's just go ahead and book it then. Um, just a bunch of people we're not going to have win, and then Eddie Guerrero. Yeah, uh, Eddie Guerrero. Um, just people who aren't busy, really. Liger and Hardy can be in there. That'll do their feud. Whoa! Why did they only? Oh, I didn't have the multi ticked. I must have cleared my cookies or something. Uh, Eddie Guerrero, Matt Hardy, Jushin Liger, Hell, Taker, Jericho. Let's just get this That's shit out of the way. <laughs> One, two, three, four. It's five. Let's throw uh, Dan in there just to. Okay, yeah, why not? Solidify. Well, no, let's get Mick in there. Mick's not doing anything. Okay, yeah, both are fine. Um, and then we have Eddie Guerrero in that for contendership. Yes. Also, because it's a good match. Uh, so... And then we can go in and actually make the feud pay for it. The... Aranese beat Millennium Dragons to retain in a very close match. So I think that should be a segment. Yeah, okay. Uh, what, what segment are we thinking on? Um... Hmm... Maybe... Demand title shot? We can do demand title shot. Yeah, it was so close, they'd like a title shot. Yeah. Okay. Um, One more game? One more game. Uh, we need to do this promo, so let's do that. Yep, that's going to be bad. Oh, no, wait. Uh, we're ending it, so I don't care if it's bad. Yeah. Better together. There we go. They're friends. We're going to have to rename that tag team. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we're Farouk also... Farouk Shaw. Farouk Shaw. <laughs> so uh, also we'll need to turn either Bradshaw face or Farouk heel. We've told a story that kind of makes sense for either, but with Bradshaw being the final survivor at Survivor Series, I think it's better if we turn Bradshaw face. I would agree. And the Aaronies are heels anyway, so it's yeah. good to build a new face tag. Um, in that sense, it might be time to take Godfather and Sable heel. They've been face for a long time, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Um, and given their last feud was supposed to be face versus face, they could get real shitty about it. So, uh, idea. Do this, and then after this show, 
uh, go through, turn uh, Homewreckers and Keel. Just just turn them heel. Uh, turn these guys face, and then immediately start a program between these guys and Homewreckers Inc. to build the APA. I love it. What a great idea. Brilliant. This is why you're here, on the team. Um, let's see. Dan Severn's morale sucks. What if we get him a win over Owen Hart? Owen Hart's morale is great. That sounds great. Oh, Ooh, the they, fans they don't like that. Who's a different face down. he could beat Who's up? Who's a different one? Hmm. I mean, mm, you know what he could anybody. do? You know what he could do? Hmm. Dan Severn could beat either the Godfather or Sable. They're both really over. Yeah. It would give him good morale. It would be a good inciting incident for them to be pissed off. What if he beat them both? Like in a handicap match? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that'll piss them off real good. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's kinda, um, it kind of buries them a little bit, but at the same time... Like, no, no, no. That's it's one v two. So, so Dan versus Godfather and Sable, and we'll put this uh, there. It's just fine. It's Dan Seven versus Homewreckers Inc. That should be higher on the card. They're the three most over people in the company. This is our. I suppose that is the main event. Yeah. Okay. I mean, like, it might end up higher on the card depending on what else we book, right, but so what that's we, the main event. Yeah, what do we need What do we need to, to do? Um, need to book? I think that's it for... No, uh, John Tenda versus Ken Shamrock. Um, we don't have a lot of staleness on this, so I'm going to say a promo there. It's not going to be a very good promo, but... Um, let's uh, try to build some hype for the feud. So, biggest red goals. arrows. Just, Just promo a promo battle. battle. Yeah. Gives the boys all the help they can get anyway. Um, okay. And then... Uh, we don't have Owen on the card. We don't have Kurt on the card. Um, Kurt Angle versus Owen Hart in just a big uh, prestige match is not bad. No, it's not. And then we want the tag feud on the card also. Yeah, just a title defense. Maybe yeah. that'll be the main event. Yeah, just Kurt Angle literally just defending the, the fucking World Heavyweight Championship on free TV. He's going to win, obviously. But I like that. That's a good main event. Owen Hart's, the cont Owen Hart's getting the championship, and then earlier in the night we have a contendership match for the next championship match. You know what? Open, yeah. open the show with that? Yeah. Strong opening post-pay-per-view. I wish we could book, like, a post-match, uh, like, beatdown. To have Kurt Angle win and then Eddie Guerrero comes out and hits him with a chair. <laughs> we could. Um, we've got three segments left. Let's, uh... You said, uh... Tag feud on the card. It, it is. They're demanding a title shot. Yeah. Cool. Um... Then I think we're all set. Let's let's figure out what else we can do with the rest of this card. Yeah. Uh, so uh, we could have Pierre Ole get uh, pumped up by his manager. Sure, that's been really helpful. Um, we're looking for manager promo. There we go. There we go. All right. Uh, and we want... Paul Ellering. Paul Ellering. Look. Okay. Uh, if we wanted to have uh, an angle, a thing to start the feud between Eddie Guerrero and Kurt Angle, it would need to go probably after the title match. Yes. Um, I'm thinking we need a little more wrestling in the wrestling show. Yeah, I think, I think that's a great idea. Um, we've got Vampiro. Um, we've got Scott Taylor and Brian Christopher. We've got Savio Vega, that are not doing anything. So that sounds like a shot. Um, yeah, I guess Vampiro is a heel, huh? Yep. Okay, why not? I don't see that going too well for Vampiro and Savio Vega. Me neither, but it's a tag match that could be on the card. Sure is. Um, that's 
good. And then the uh, the segment Eddie Guerrero attacks uh, Kurt Angle. So feud. What kind of attack would that be? Um, I think it's like in ring. A promo ambush, maybe? Is that what it's called? Well, let's just call it a promo ambush, yeah. Okay. Uh, Kurt Angle? You, 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 win, you win by him like three times. I sure did. <laughs> I'm just bad at this book. There we okay. go. Throw that right up at the top of the card, and then start feud. Yeah. Also, it lets us start the feud for free. And here, too. Yeah. yeah. Um, new title challenger, greatest wrestler... Both are fine, or repeat feud thingy would be fine too. Yeah. If you're looking to grind something up, either new challenger or greatest wrestler. Greatest wrestler is more inherently hype. I don't think we've got a greatest wrestler feud on this brand right now. Nope. So. There we go. Okay, good. That's right. a show. That is a show. Let's do this. Okay. Uh, coming Eddie's out of this is this. Eddie. Bam. Hot match. Uh, that feud became hot. Cool. That's good to see. In a hot match like that? That's not surprising. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. Um, manager promo. Everybody loved it. Wow. Everybody loved it. Wow. Beautiful. Uh, too too much. much. Probably winning that. Yeah, that match needed digs. Hey, Vampiro got over by losing somehow. Okay. <laughs> good for him. Promo battle there was not great. That's we didn't expect that to be no, great. No, we just need to buy time. And and they are better together. That did not go well. Oh well. Uh, nobody died. So Farouk and Bradshaw. No, no. You know what? Just called Farouk and Bradshaw. It's not bad. Well, they were never the acolytes. So. No, yeah. <laughs> not Brad Rook. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Dan Severn beats Homewreckers Inc. Wow. Um, nobody got injured. Nobody got injured. How how much did that tank the... Uh, oh, wow. Three. They're fine. Dan Severn is so over as a badass that he can beat literally our most over tag team. And everyone goes, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Bam! Yeah, everyone loved that. Okay. That's great. Good, good. Oh, Luna got Charisma 3. Nice. That's really good. Uh, Kurt Angle continues to win his title here. Full of action. Great match. Um, cool. Little, More prestige. Little tiny prestige for the little championship. Bump, little, little bump. bump. And then, and then Eddie, Eddie attacks him. Attacks him. 100% yeah. effective. Everyone's immediately on board. Uh, yep. Good. Okay. Great. Nice. Show done. That went well. All right. We got a little uh, management to do. Want to go and get this out of the way. Once yeah. Let's not forget. Let's check our, our uh, ratings here. How much we get for that for that raw? Uh, we got 57. Nice. Nice, Ooh, nice. look at EPW getting fans. Crawling they, up they closer to 8 million. Show, yeah. All right, so before we move on to Thunder, let's go ahead and get the tag stuff out of the way. Yes. Uh, manage roster teams. Farouk and Bradshaw. Uh, Farouk and Bradshaw. They're a neutral they're team neutral. because they're a face and heel. Right, so change we're going to change alignment. Oh, okay. So we just need to change Bradshaw's line. Change Bradshaw to face. Um, however, while we're here, Homewreckers Inc. are going to go heal. Perfectly willing to pay for that. Mm -hmm. um, they lost a handicap match. They're real pissed off about it. Got an alert about that. That makes me concerned. Well, we'll find out. We sure will. Uh, Bradshaw is going to be a face. going to go face. He has natural heal, but we can... It's fine. Yeah, it just gives him a bonus. I'm sure they'll go heal eventually. Oh, yeah. Um, all right. And also, let's... his gimmick is currently bad. Do oh, we want to oh, give him all. a new... Do we want to give him a new uh, gimmick? Do we? Let's go. Roster review. His gimmick is currently cowboy, and everyone hates it. <laughs> uh, well, what's Farouk's gimmick? I don't know. We haven't looked at Farouk's... Good. Gang leader. Gang leader? Cool. Um... Gang member? We restart the nation with Bradshaw? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, speaking of which, we need to take care of this since they're about to be feuding. Um, oh, this is a this is a heartbreaking feud because Farouk has been there for their whole rise. Yeah. And remove the 
godfather from Farouk. That's Farouk has been there just in the background along with the Godfather this whole time. For good okay. nil. Um Bradshaw. Yeah. Let's, 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 let's get him a new gimmick. Let's get him a new gimmick. Change gimmick. Um He's just gang leader. That's the only thing that's uh, fruit gimmick. Yeah, just gang leader. I don't think gang member is a thing. Oh, I can't even see gang. Oh, they probably named it something. Yeah. It's probably not actually. Uh... Right. Uh, could do like. Uh, yeah, but then like. Fun... Oh, right. He's face. He's face. Yeah. Uh, Was there fun bully? Fun loving bully. <laughs> I mean, it's true, but I don't know if it's a good wrestling gimmick. No, nah, you know what? He's the guy who's like, ah, I'm just kidding you. I'm just kidding you. I'm just kidding you. Well, let's see how it goes. Worst thing that happens is we we pay to change it again. Gimmick added. All right. Okay. To the book for s- Thunder. Yeah, Thursday Night Which Thunder. Starts with an S. It's thunder. Uh. Thunder. It's Thunder. It's Thunder. You were right. just being colloquial. Yes. Uh, all right, so this show. Our feuds here are uh, Stone Cold versus HBK. Uh, HBK wanted the pay per view to get a title shot. Yes, he did. Um, we've got The Rock versus Triple H. They're just fighting because. They're arguing until the pay per view and then fighting. Yes. Uh, and then Edge and Gold Dust. Um, Gold Dust really likes Edge. In, in, but like not in a fun way in like a please go away stop <laughs> sniffing my underwear way <laughs> it just smells like wrestling spirit <laughs> <laughs> alright let's get Rock and Triple H in there yeah just have them I mean like whatever it's at 143 they're over as fuck do what you want uh, the Rock beat Triple H so um is there like a smack talk but I think that's a one or yeah, oh, backstage attack we already did. Um, the Rock is fancy. Let's get a car destruction in there. Yeah, okay. Triple H loves sledgehammers. Uh, he sledgehammers the Rock's very fancy car. There you go. Um, Let's go ahead and get this contract signing. You know, here's a fun gimmick. Hmm. And I remember, I believe it was Stone Cold and Triple H, uh, where they had to sign the contract where they could not touch each other until the match. So just we literally we hear to them. They're not going to be in a wrestling match with each other until until the next pay per view. Right, because they're too volatile. Yeah. Okay. I like it. Uh, whoever is the general manager comes out and says, "Look, you guys had your match. I know how you are. I've been watching the last two years of wrestling. And literally, last pay per view cycle, we had like an entire show where they were fighting the mm-hmm. whole show. They were fighting the whole show." I'm not gonna. It's. I'm. I can't. Hit, I can't run a show like this. So you guys are. If either of you touches, if, if Sean, if you attack Steve before the pay per view, you lose your title shot. Steve, if you attack Sean before the pay per view, I will strip you of the title. I am not messing around. I okay. like it. All right. Um, Edge versus Goldust could be a match, but I think let's just make a segment out of it. Why not? You know. Yeah, we're going to have a bunch of new talent in wrestling matches. Ooh, or... Or? I happen to think. Well, thinking is good. Um, Edge and his friend... Uh, Christian. Christian. And... Gold Dust is there. He wants to hang out with them. And they can beat up on... DX? You DX. Think? It'll take a hit. Oh no, if we don't hit... We do X-Pac instead. Billy, that feud's over with, so Billy can move on. Uh, and X Pac's injured. Bro. Oh, X Pac's injured. Boo! Get out of there, X Pac. Um, Road Dog. Then we'll, we'll we'll deal with the staleness. Look how over he is. It'll be fine. Yeah. There we go. DX can get a win there. Um, I think. Do they need it? Uh, we'll look at it. We'll, we'll look at it. It's fine. Um, move that. I, I, actually, about, that's about I, I tell you, I'm perfect for the brood. I'm edgy. I'm cool. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a vampire. 
Gangrel, looking genuinely offended. Look, he's holding his pimp chalice of blood, just like, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So, let's debut Jacqueline. Um, singles promo. Should a face or a heel? What a great question. Face. Um. Spirited promo, then. Yeah, debut, new superstar. There we go. Ta-da! Cool. Uh, all right, uh, let's debut somebody in a match. I like the idea of bringing up Lance Storm in a match. Perfect thinking. That's that's what I was going to suggest. Lance Storm um, versus Steve. Yeah, he's a heel versus Steve Blackman. Why not? Look at that work rate. Yeah, good, good, good. And then that match happens. Great. Uh, if we have space for it, having Phineas I. Godwin get himself over with a microphone would be ideal. You're absolutely right. I forgot that was his gimmick now, and it's amazing. Uh, um, just a heat promo. Sure. Get him hot. Uh, TV title match wouldn't go amiss. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Unless we're going to have Lee to lose it, it really doesn't matter who we pick. No, it really doesn't. Um... Lita needs some heat. I think it'll make... It might make the title suffer for a bad contender, but... It's the TV title. Yeah. <laughs> we need to build Lita up, so... And the championship. I mean, hopefully yes. they have a good match. Fingers crossed. We'll see. I mean, who else would we put in there? Jerry Waller? <laughs> no. We have to keep him and Tonk the same. Yes. We can put them both in. <laughs> <sighs> um, the original plan was to have Lita beat up Kurt Hennig. Yeah. I don't know that I want to use all of Kurt's shit on, like... Lita? Lita? On Lita and also on free TV is where I'm kind of... No, there is here. there is definitely the uh, impetus to keep part-time talent to, um, like, you know, pay-per-views and, and, and special appearances and stuff. But I don't know when those appearances refresh, do you? They just did. Oh, okay. So we're like, like Tonk and Lawler. Ooh, we're down to four for them. Jerry's got five. We could put Jerry in the in the Gangrel Lita match since he has one more than Tonk. I don't know that that's strictly necessary. I'd rather just use him for a promo sometime. That's fair. And I don't know that this show needs it because we've got a lot of stuff at the other end. Um, what I'm looking at more here is these are our guys that are not on the card at all, uh, that are not part timers. That's Jeff Hardy, El Samurai, The Patriot, and Kane. Right. Um, we've got two segments left. I'd like to get a more main eventy match. Jeff Hardy, I believe, is just coming back from injury. So Getting him he, a win would be cool. Yeah. So, um, Kane's morale is a little low, but the Patriot and El Samurai are both faces. And their morale is even lower. Is it? Ouch. Hmm. I mean, you could always put the TV title on last. I don't know how good that would go. Me neither. Just an option. Okay. Well, um... This could be a very promo-heavy show. That might be the solution we're looking for here. Uh, Patriot could use a morale boost. Um, Kane's kind of hurting on overness, though. El Samurai is not hot anymore. Jeff Hardy can come back in a promo. That's a thing. Injury return promo. That's fine. We'll get the pop we want out of that. Injury gloat. No. Return? Return package. Package? No. What? Spirited promo, my dude. Hmm. Yeah, I could have sworn there was one where, like, they come back from an injury, though. 
Uh, there's a lot of stuff, but it's like angles and vengeance and stuff. It's not just, hey, I'm back. Oh, maybe. Maybe you're right about that. Um, new gimmick. Manager. Usurped? Oh, that's kind of fun. Ooh, look at the heat on that. Uh, what if we had a game theory that wasn't about a feud? Okay, who else? Uh, is anyone else there? Or is it just Triple H interviewing Jeff Hardy? Uh, I was going to say more Triple H interviewing um, El Samurai and uh, uh, the Patriot. Okay. Our heater just kicked on. I'm going to go turn that off while you book that. Yes. So Triple H, El Samurai, The Patriot. Talk show. I keep wanting to call it Game Theory. Yeah, that's not the name in character. No. In the game. It is the name in character. And I think, I think Jeff Hardy over Kurt Hennig. Okay, yeah. I'm for that. It's going to not waste, but it's going to use one of his things. But, like... That's a main event. That's a main event, yeah. Uh, this ended not too bad on balance. Um, we got everything in there. Cool. All right, are you satisfied with this? I'm happy. Okay. Jacqueline debuts. Everyone Pe loves it. People really hyped to see Jackie. Because awesome. she's great. She is great. Uh, Lance Storm debuts to a big... Oh, God, I forgot the gimmick here. <laughs> you can't, you can't... No, don't anger him! <laughs> He's only using 1% of his real power. You don't want him to use more. <laughs> good psychology. That's good. Um, honestly, that might have been a feud. We, we probably could have done a feud with that. If I'd thought more about it. I'd, I'd rather utilize those talents and feuds with, like, guys uh, higher up the card who aren't in use. Oh, oh good. They finally liked something Lita was in. And it, and it gave prestige to the title, not damning it. That's they, awesome. They finally liked something Lita was in, everybody. <laughs> the audience actually liked it. Uh, I forgot about Patriot's new hair. Uh, I didn't. It's great. Good. I hope that... Does. So I got a, I got a theory. Uh, why you guys are not great. Uh, people don't like masks where you can see the hair. Keep telling Kane this. He doesn't listen to me. Uh, you changed your mask and now everyone hates you. So, they don't hate me. Yeah, they do. I have it on good authority. I took a poll. Unbiased poll. Did you just ask X-Pac? Maybe. Uh, you know what? It was, uh, the poll's, uh, details are confidential. <laughs> um. We looking at a fucky finish on this one? No, I was seeing if there was one that was like, uh. Uh, lost because gold dust. Yeah, but there's not. So we'll just we'll just put them over. It's fine. It's not a great match. No, no. But that's okay. But... Got the feud on the show. Uh, the Triple H is gonna smash the Rock's car. <laughs> when Trips did the game theory, he brought out a sledgehammer, and people were like, "Why do you have that?" Oh, you'll we'll find out. Don't worry about it. <laughs> not for this. Don't worry. Just want to keep it nearby. The Rock shows up later. <laughs> Parks leaves. Camera stays on The Rock's car for, like, a long, awkward, long time. And then Triple H comes sidling into fame. You know, I do have another theory. <laughs> so this one, you have to pick a winner. I forgot. So here's my, my plan on how this goes out. The GM comes down and explains the contract signing. And Austin says, if I sign this contract, I can't kick his ass. Until the pay-per-view. Until Armageddon. And Sean has already signed it. Yeah, Sean's already signed it. And then the GM's like, yeah, Steve, that's what that means. All right, all right. Hold my pen. Stunners him through the table. Signs the contract on his back. <laughs> middle drops fingers in it the on air. him. <laughs> uh, and Jeff Hardy beats Kurt Hennig. Big return. Pretty good match. Hot match, actually. Nice. Nice, good. That's cool. how you want, that's yeah. what you want out of your part-time talent. All right, what do we get paid for that? 57, another good show. Yeah, another great show. 7.26 cool. million. Catching up. I wish I could just give money to 
the other feds. Just, just like on the download. Yeah, just, like, I'm sorry, on. guys. Keep All on. right, back to Raw here. Um, ooh, we got a lot on Bad Mattitude. That's gonna have to be some some segments. If anything, it could yeah. easily be off the card. I don't hate that idea. Or we could just end it. Like it's this is just a personal feud. There's no reason to take this to the pay per view. I mean, matches on the show. Bigger pay per view, bigger numbers. Better person. Okay. All right. I'm for it. Um, I don't think either of them. Well, what needs grinding up? I guess is more. Yeah, that's that. That's a good way of looking at it. Like push up contest. Uh, yeah. All right. They're both goofy enough. Fucking, I don't it's care. It's not even a silly thing. No. I don't know why it's not, but okay. It's a very serious push-up contest. Uh, Aaronese versus Millennium Dragons. Um, that could easily be a match. They have plenty of staleness. And it could also easily be a promo. We have plenty of matches we could do. Yeah, let's hold off on that one. Jericho versus Undertaker. <sighs> what What to do with that is kind of the thing there. I mean, if you want to be very classic, Chris Jericho and Eddie Guerrero versus Kurt Angle and The Undertaker in a tag match. We do that a lot, but we it do. is good. Um, That's why we do it a lot. Mm-hmm. It's very good. It is very good. Uh, so, Chris Jericho and The Undertaker, or is it Chris Jericho and Eddie? Eddie. That's the heels. Okay. Oh, Eddie shot up there, man. That's awesome. It's just Kurt Angle and The Undertaker. Your main event, a push-up contest between Jushin Liger and Matt Hardy. <laughs> um, now, this is where we start the feud between uh, Homewreckers, Inc. and Brad, Sean, Farouk. Yeah. Uh, what if it's just like a huge like ambush for no reason? Yeah. Um, they blame Farouk for not for losing that handicap match for some reason. Or maybe they're just mad. Like, you know, Farouk is leaving to go talk to Bradshaw about some stuff from The Godfather. And The Godfather... You leaving so me pissed. now? We just lost a handicap match and now you leaving? No, uh-uh. That's not how it goes down. Um, not team tension. Backstage attack? Backstage attack's not bad, yeah. It's probably Promo right ambush now. also fine. Oh, that would have been useful. Oh, well. Those those segments are never there when we want them. Face tag team heel turn. God damn it. Oh well. Um, We're rich. Let it go. <laughs> it's not about saving it. It's about putting a cool segment on the show. Uh, we'll, we'll call it a, a backstage attack. Let's call it that. Add feud. I mean... Grudge sounds good. Just grudge. Yeah, just grudge. Mm-hmm. You don't even really need to rename it. Uh, okay. They're being attacked by the monster from the grudge. <laughs> Scary. Um, John Tenten, Ken Shamrock, Jushin Liger, and Matt Hardy. Oh, no, they're on there in the push-up contest. Yep. So John Tenten, Ken Shamrock, and then our tag team feud. Aaronese Millennium Dragons. <clears throat> I, Ken Shamrock and John Tenten can't really be in a match. No, they cannot. They are too stale. They are too stale. Well, no, they could be. Oh, no, uh, it's, it's, it's the four. other one. Yeah. Uh, that would be risky. It would, uh, be, it would be... It would be a risky biscuit. If we're gonna do that, it's honestly smarter to just have him drop the title now. Because they're not gonna put on a good enough match to get extra staleness. It's just not likely. That doesn't happen a lot, given the kind of fed we are. And boy, howdy, if we let them do a promo, that's not gonna happen. I mean, we could... Ooh... Immediately start another feud for Tenta. I don't hate it. Who's a, let's figure out the next contender. Who's a heel? Um, I believe Pierre Ulay. Poor Savio. You hovered on him for a second and then went not. I him. mean, we could do Savio if we're just trying to put over Tenta, but no, uh, Pierre Ulay's better. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. All right. Okay. So, uh, yeah, singles match. Um, Ken Shamrock versus John Tenta for the title. Ken Shamrock, John Tenta, book it, add blow off. Um, and then right after that? Yeah, a segment, I imagine. Demand title shot. Demand title shot, good job. Good good call on that one. Why do I have to Google things? Um, 
Singles. John Tenta and Pierre Lay. Look, one of them's not a champion yet. So oh, so the game. Now. Oh, so make it some other promo. I don't care. Uh, just like a promo ambush would be fine. Yeah. Need an amuse bouche, please. Book. Right after that, add yeah. feud. Oh yeah, thank you. Uh, add feud. God hates you. <laughs> <laughs> um, better wrestler's pretty easy. Disrespect. We have a greatest wrestler on this card, I think. So, so. disrespect. Disrespect, I think. <laughs> okay. Um, let's get some more wrestling in here. We've got lots of wrestlers to do that with. Yeah, we do. Uh... Dan Severn's not busy. Who could he feud with? I was thinking maybe Mick Foley. Yeah, and so is the fans. Um... There's no reason not to just make that a wrestling match. That is true. That is true. And then Dan Severn and Mick Foley are in a wrestling match on the card. True, yeah. Sometimes guys just fight and then they don't like each other because of it. Uh, add feud. Financial trouble. Greatest wrestler. Mask versus career. No. I don't want to retire my Dan Severn, but or that's unmask awesome. unmask my Mick Foley. Uh, I like the little sprite with the mask. Yeah, I do too. Um... I mean, this is a good op. This is a good opt for the for the respin because none of those are. Yeah. All right, so let's think of a name we can put in, and if we can't think of anything good, we'll re we'll hit refresh until we find something that's funny. So I was kind of thinking that maybe uh, Mick is trying to calm Dan down. Dan's gone off the deep end, and Mick Foley. He did just beat up. He beat up the Godfather and Sable so much they turned heel. And Mick Foley, as the shining golden fucking all might of, of the of this version of the WWF, so fucking pure he turned the entire golden age of grotesque face. <laughs> he sees this, he's like, "No, oh my god, you're and spreading anger throughout the building. We gotta, you gotta calm down." He's mankind, so he's like, "Here's what I'm gonna do for you, Dan. Beat me up." Take out all that anger and aggression and just focus it on me, because I can take it. Yes! <laughs> uh, uh, therapy. Mick? No, that's bad. This the, says the therapy Severn style, but I think that's too uh, <laughs> Percussive maintenance. <laughs> sure. I don't even know if I spelled that right. Whatever, you're not going to see half of it. Um, due to a previous feud between participants. Nice. Uh, okay. Uh, we've got three left we can do. Uh, the tag match isn't on the card. Or the tag feud, rather. We can put it on the card. Put it on the card. Yeah, I don't want to just do like a straight up match, though. I have a question. Yeah. Why not? Not for the titles, but... They did lose at the pay-per-view. That's true. We could have the, the contract signing and, and like just a argument backstage. They're like, we could kick your ass tonight. I don't know why we just have to wait till the pay-per-view. You guys are a speed bump. We already beat you once. And then the Millennium Dragons win. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Kabooked. Yeah, we, we, we we'll give you not, a title shot. Not, but not for the title. You guys don't you guys you guys don't deserve the pay-per-view. Look, we'll prove it. We'll beat you tonight. And then, when we beat you tonight, that that can be the end of it. How about that? Oh, you gonna put our title? You gonna give us a title shot tonight? No. <laughs> um. Okay. All right. So that just leaves uh, random people who aren't on the card. Um. So that includes Vampiro, Too Much, Owen Hart. That's it. Getting good use out of our roster. Um, I don't have anything for any of those three people to do. Okay. Um, oh, and Savio Vega. That's 
Could have Savio he, Vega beat someone higher up on the card. He's on over. We could get him some overness by having him beat up a member of too much. We could use that appearance from Jerry Lawler and try to give him some overness from that. Oh, yeah. Jerry Lawler's not that over. No, he's less over than Tonk. Wow, that's so sad. Um, how is too much doing? Oh, they're hot. They're hot as fuck. Yeah. All right, so maybe Savio beats Brian Christopher. Okay. Because he's more over. Um, so Savio Vega, Brian Christopher, book that. Uh, right between the promo ambush and the push-up contest. You really think? How, uh, yeah, we could have open with a bang. That's fine. We yeah. did last week. Um, and then uh, King, just believe in yourself, man. What the fuck? He's a face. Spirited promo. Spirited promo. Bring some spirit. Shit, we can open with that. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Um, all right, you ready to book it? Sure. Let's play. Play the feud. Play the feud. Jay Lawler's in the ring for a promo. Everybody loves it. He's fucking great. <laughs> um, John Tenta beats Ken Shamrock. New, ch new champ. Kaboosh. New champ. Feud over. The title lost so much prestige, but that's fine. It's the European title. It's fine. Yeah, it's supposed to be a little lower down the card than we've been keeping it. Uh, Pierre Lay immediately comes out and attacks. And nobody cares. Not, not care for that. That's my title feud item unlocked. That's interesting. Um, Savio Vega gets one over Brian Christopher. It was an okay match. Not going to be a great show. But he got his gimmick up from not good to average. That was why would this match existed. Uh, Jushin Liger, Matt Hardy push-up contest. Who wanted the pay-per-view? Liger. So let's get Matt mm -hmm. on that push-up game. <laughs> He fucking loved it. It's all right. <laughs> no, he's not. This is four stars. Quite a great push-up contest. Uh, Millennium Dragons. Victorious. They love that too. Yeah, pretty decent. Nice. Uh, Mick Foley versus Dan Severn. Dan Severn is winning. Going to beat the snot out of Mick Foley. From pillar to post. Worked against crowd. They did not like that. That's all right. We'll get them. We'll get them there. We'll, we'll get them. <clears throat> All right, backstage attack, Homewreckers Inc. attack for Rick and Bradshaw. Um, is that? Yeah, that was, that was pretty good. Uh, Bradshaw got over. <laughs> Fun-loving bully gimmick. Uh, it's not good, but it was better than his last one. Yep. Um, uh, Farouk's gimmick went to mark out, mm -hmm. and Bradshaw got over. He's starting to get over. Starting to get over. But, like, <laughs> mm. The, the and, heaters are still heaters. Yeah. Good. Um. Wow, it doesn't really matter, does it? Who has? His, no, they're all in good moods, even. So yeah. Who gives a shit? Hit simulate. Undertaker and Kurt Angle. Hot feud. <laughs> Immediately hot. Uh, no one seems to be injured, so that's good. That's what you want. No injuries. This could have been a better show, but it wasn't a terrible show. No, it wasn't bad. Thirty-five is about what we deserved. <laughs> Still got fans. Yeah. <laughs> wow, EPW got seven, almost 8,000 fans. Good for them. Yeah, great. Thursday Night Thunder. All right, let's do this Thunder, and then uh, we'll split it up into the next episode. Sounds good. Book. Just hit play. Fuck it. <laughs> Go. No show. Fuck you. All right, so our feuds here. Uh, disrespect between the Rock and Triple H. I think... Uh, the Rock needs to attack Triple H backstage. Oh, yeah. I mean, look. He's The Rock. He's not a fucking shining example of morals. He'll beat your ass. Um, we need feud stuff here. I mean, fight would be fine. Yeah, fight would be fine. If there's I think something we've else already can... done backstage attack. We have. Um, we should just beat down. No, that's too much. Oh, we haven't done smack talk. Well, then, uh, instead of beating him up, does he just roast him? Eh, let's do a fight now, immediately after the car destruction. Smack talk can happen, like, next week or yeah, something. Yeah, when, when they've had some chance to cool it down. Yeah. Um, Stone Cold versus Shawn Michaels. Uh, this can just be straight promo battles. Yes. Perfect. Just for the rest of this pay-per-view cycle, just straight promo battles. Nothing crazy. All right, we've got Edge versus Gold Dust. We've got some staleness to use there, too. Um... 
how could I? Do we finally want to do an injury revenge gimmick? Nah, because Ivory's tag champ. Yeah, that's like, true. That's like booking the shit out of her. Um, I want to see if this works. What are we doing? I'm, I'm interested. I'm here for it. I'm ready. Let's go. Um, so, Edge versus Gold Dust. No, no, not Edge. I'm sorry. Um, Gangrel versus Gold Dust. That's not going to recognize the feud. Okay. Edit. Add manager. Oh. Yeah, no. Damn. You were hoping that it would recognize the feud there? Yeah. Um... Well, you know, they got plenty of staleness to use. I think that would be a good match. I do too, but like it's, the game will not recognize that as being part no, of the field. No, unfortunately. Oh, um, could book it as a handicap match, and and know what we mean by it. The game doesn't seem to give a shit if people lose handicap matches, so I'm fine with that. Well, I was gonna have uh, Gangrel go over oh well then that's even better um so 1v2 we want gold dust versus edge and gangrel had a hair in my throat okay what else do we have that's it everything on the card yeah, let's go. Book it. This is <laughs> All right. So, um, TV title match? Yeah, TV title match. Good call. Uh, Lita. Either someone higher up the card or literally Phineas I. Godwin. Hmm. I would do China or Road Dogg. I was thinking China, yeah. Because Road Dogg's... Weekly is, Sloth. Yeah, Weekly Sloth. So, Lita needs all the help she can get. Um... If we can get Lita and Phineas I. Godwin out of the lower mid card, we won't have any lower mid carders left on this show. Cool. So let Phineas get himself over. Book that uh, man a promo. Yeah, we will. Um, I was thinking Lance Storm versus Christian. Okay. That might be pretty good. Yeah, I'm for it. We gotta we gotta book our new talents. Um, segment. <laughs> Phineas, um, you know, we've been doing heat promos. What about a backstage interview? Just, yeah. Gives nothing, it more yeah, do popularity. It. He sits down with an interviewer to expand upon his philosophy. Of why we suck. Yes. Okay. Um... How are the Patriot and El Samurai? A little bit better. I would give both of them a win if we can. Yeah. Is, is there someone who's not... Ooh! So, alright. I have an idea. It might sound stupid. Alright? Okay. Because we can't... There's not really a way to book this in universe. Alright, I'm listening. What if we have Shawn Michaels and Stone Cold both on the card wrestling tonight before their promo battle or after? One of the two. Okay. Uh, they're one's fighting El Samurai, the other's fighting the Patriot, and they both fuck up the match for each other, so they both lose. We're gonna take a star hit there, but I like where your head's at. Well, I don't mean like cheating or whatever. Oh, don't actually book it that way. It's not necessary. It's it's actually to get El Samurai and the Patriot a win. True, true, true. Over really over dudes. Wow, and they want to see it. Shawn Michaels are uh, they're both faces, aren't they? Yeah. Um, I'm going to book Patriot and Stone Cold because they've got previous heat, not for the title. Um, yeah, okay. So, Stone Cold versus Patriot happens first. Shawn Michaels comes out mid-match to watch the competition. Yeah. And Patriot then, snooches a win. Right. Uh... He doesn't even necessarily snooch it. Like, it's, it's... Sean, you know, does something to distract Stone Cold. Patriot doesn't realize it and, you know... Yeah, like, Patriot doesn't... Isn't... There's not a cheat on Patriot's part. It's just... 
Stone Cold's off his game because he has to watch his back. So then um, they have an argument. They get the really, hell are you doing? <laughs> yeah, and Sean's just like, hit what, me. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do about it? Uh, what he's gonna do all about right. it is all right. In- interfere in his match. Ain't gonna be like that. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think that works better if there's something else between the promo battle and Sean's match. I don't care what, but whatever is left should be that. Um. Okay. El Samurai versus Shawn Michaels is a very fine main event. Yeah, sure. I guess, uh, how's... We could get Kane to win over Jeff Hardy. Yeah, Jeff Hardy got his win. Yeah, he got his, his big debut return win. Um, put that there. Wrestling heavy show. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> All right, let's do this thing. That was quick. Yeah. Um, let's see. Christian versus Lance Storm. Lance. I think Lance, yeah. Let's let's continue to build Lance. Good match. Nothing crazy. Backstage interview with Phineas did not go well. Interesting. That is very interesting. Interesting that didn't go well. Oh, because the backstage interview isn't as ground up as... As he oh, uh, okay. That's fair. Whatever. Uh, Lita wins over China. They loved it. Lita got over. It happened! <laughs> they just had to see her wrestle someone who wasn't Billy Gunn. <laughs> uh, fucking A. Creeper right. got a little out of that. Yeah, Creeper got a little bit out of that. It's a good feud. It, it You know, it's yeah. probably any of the pay-per-view. This is so over. <laughs> they had an intense brawl at a dance club. What more do you want? Um, the Patriot wins over Stone Cold. I like that because it implies that The Rock didn't seek Triple H out to fight him. They just both happened to be at the same club partying and The Rock see him, saw him and it was on site. Yeah, it was at uh, WWE New York or WWE Oh, New yeah, York that's the era. Something. That's the era. Patriot right. got to win. Yeah. Stone Cold did not lose much by it. And they argue. Great promo, great promo. Um, and, uh, Jeff Hardy... No, Kane's getting a win here. Kane's getting a win over Jeff Hardy. That's good. Good, good. And, and then, uh, Sean... And then, in an exact reversal, Stone Cold... Whoa, El Samurai got over again. Nice! nice. Good for him. All right, and that's that's good for those boys. Got them some wins. Everyone liked the show. Good show. Good job. Yeah, nice. Cool. All right, well, we've got uh, two shows till Armageddon and then Armageddon, and we'll be booking those on the next episode of Journey of Wrestling.